Hello and welcome to this virtual tour of Mars. I'm your host, Dale Fox. Now, as you can see, I'm currently surrounded by rotating planets in our solar system. This planet is Mars, where China's Zhurong probe has just landed successfully after a months-long journey in space. China launched its Mars mission, Tianwen-1, on July 23, 2020. After a journey of 202 days, the spacecraft entered Mars orbit in February this year. On May 15, the lander carrying the Zhurong rover touched down on Utopia Planitia, a vast plain on Mars' northern hemisphere. Voila! I'm now on Mars. What you see here is the lander and the Zhurong rover. Now we can see the rover Zhurong is moving down from the lander. After a week of preparation, the rover is ready to explore the surface of Mars. Let's learn more about the rover. Beside me is Durong. It's 1.85 meters tall, about the same as me. And it weighs 240 kilograms. As you can probably tell, Durong is fully equipped to explore the red planet. Let's take a look at what the rover can do. This is the rover's mast, which has three operating modes, including unfolding, yawing, and pitching. Its cameras have a full view of its surroundings. These are solar panel wings, which can adjust their angle to track the sun and generate power. Pretty useful. This is an antenna, which is used to communicate with Earth. And this is the mobile device. It has multiple travel modes, moving forward and backward, making turns, and even walking sideways like a crab. Jurong also has a number of sensors, such as a multispectral camera, terrain camera, meteorology monitor, surface composition detector, subsurface exploration radar, and a magnetic field detector. All of these will help the rover survive on Mars and facilitate its mission. Well, not as fast as you might expect. This is because first, the rover's power supply is limited. And second, the landform on Mars is very complex. Because of these things, the rover only moves at around 200 meters per hour, which is somewhere between a snail and a tortoise. So, Jurong certainly won't be taking part in any drag races. For technical reasons, there's only a 10-minute window each day when the rover can communicate with Earth. The rest of the time, the rover will move around and work autonomously. Jurong has a designed lifespan of about 90 Martian days. It's expected to complete multiple tasks, including measuring the Martian environment, mapping the morphology and geological structure of the planet, and analyzing the material composition of the surface. Well, after this tour, I hope you have a better understanding of China's latest Mars mission. Let's wish Jurong success in its work as we look forward to more surprises and discoveries from the Red Planet. I'm Dale Fox. Thank you for watching.